Hey, what's up? It's Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project. I want to tell you about the keyword golden ratio today. Long tail keywords are something that most people are familiar with at this point, but here's a quick reminder. Long in long tail actually doesn't refer to the length or number of words. It's a mathematical term that refers to the small end of the graph. So it's actually a little bit easier to see in an image. So there you see it. This image is from the book called Long Tail by Chris Anderson. So check it out if you haven't read it. Anyway, long tail keywords have a low search volume, but there are lots of them. And the end of the graph, it actually goes on forever. Sure, we all want big, high volume keywords, but they can take a long time to rank and they're really competitive. One of the tricks in the niche site business is to get small wins fast. Think about it, it's a terrible feeling when you're working on 40, 1500 word articles and you're only on your first one. And you have a full-time job and a family. Where will you find the time to do all that writing? So using the keyword golden ratio or KGR, it helps you find keywords that you can rank with fast. The keyword golden ratio must be less than 0.25. Now the ratio is this. The number of Google results that have the keyword phrase in the title divided by the local monthly search volume where the monthly local search volume is less than 250. If the KGR is less than 0.25, then you should be able to rank in the top 100 when your page is indexed. Most often my sites, well, they rank in the top 30 within a few hours. You should still rank in the top 250 when the KGR is between, say, 0.25 and 1, and it should be pretty fast. When the ratio is over 1, then you know it's a more competitive term, even though the search volume is quite low, like under 250. This golden ratio is going to be your ticket to get fast results, and that's very important when you're getting started on your site. You see, you'll be able to prioritize your keywords and your content in a way that the competition cannot. Okay, now that you understand the concept of the keyword golden ratio, let's look at a real example. So I am going to just go over sort of a random example. So I'm, I'm actually into beer and home brewing. I'm actually a beer judge and I really geek out about it. So I thought that may be a good example. Plus, very, uh, to my knowledge, very few people actually have niche sites around uh, beer and beer brewing just because there are so many e-commerce sites in place already. So I thought it would be a really good example. I started looking around at some various different uh, ideas just using the, the Google Keyword Planner, as you can see here, and went down a route of you know beginner home brewing kits, uh, different equipment that one might use, and all the way down till I eventually got to this uh, build your own kegging system and, and that sort of thing that you see here. So that's what we're gonna look at uh, overall before we uh, get into the details, I want to show you how I have this um, set up. Obviously, I've done some work ahead of time, but you can see the template is extremely simple here. So we have the keyword phrase, of course. Um, then we have the all in title, which I'll show you how to find that on your own. You don't need any special tools or anything. And then we have the search volume, of course, which we'll get from the keyword planner as we saw before. And then the golden ratio. If you remember from just a couple moments ago, it's simply the all in title results divided by the search volume. So you see, I put the formula in there and then I just dragged it down like so to copy and paste it. Now, obviously I pulled these numbers earlier. It took me a few minutes to work through it. And you can see, um, I actually haven't found any uh, really good ones except for this one here. What do I need to brew beer? Only has uh, 20 results that come back and the search volume is 90. And that indicates that 90 people per month are searching for this very phrase. What do I need to brew beer? However, there are only 20 results on the whole internet that have 
what do I need to brew beer in the title? And that's very, very interesting. That means more people per month are looking for it than there are even pages on the internet about it. So that means if you write something that has, sorry, if you write a post and you publish it and it has that in the title and you write good content that has, you know, relevant information, some images, multimedia, stuff like that, um, you should be able to rank super fast. And if you note this uh, keyword golden ratio for this one is 0.222. So that, that works. And I'll, I'll show you a little a little trick here. So I normally will uh, filter these and I'll go ahead and actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that. Make sure we get our whole table here. Okay, and then I will sort them. So it's in ascending order. So we see our good ones first. And then further, what I'll do is select all of the cells in that column. I'm going to conditionally format them so that if the cell contains, uh, I guess if it's less than or equal to 0.25, it'll be green. And then we can also say if it is equal to or greater than one, that we'll turn it red. That means it's more competitive. So green is less competitive, red is more competitive. All right, so let's just um, head over to the keyword planner. Um, like I mentioned, I sort of thought you know, how to build your own keg system, maybe something cool to look at. Um, and we ended up with these results here. And let's see, what did we look at before? So we have some good results here with what do I need to brew beer? So that indicates to me that the longer phrases tend to work well. And I do see this one here how to build a kegerator from scratch, which seems interesting. So all we have to do is head over to Google, go to the search bar, and you could type in all in title colon, and then your exact phrase that you're looking for. So the all in title is an advanced search string that we can use to find you know, a subset of information. And what, what it does, what Google does is it returns only the pages on the internet where each one of those words is in the title. So once we do that, we can say, yeah, Google search. And this actually does happen from time to time. If you do uh, searches like this, Google wants to make sure that you're not a bot. So you may have to enter in a captcha like that. And here, pretty amazing, we only see four results here. So um, if we, look at the keyword planner we see average monthly results is 20. we only got four results back so we head back over here and input the, the data so we have four results there are 20 of them out there so that is a nice ratio it turned green for us and it's 0 0.20 so that means um, if you go and write an article it's titled how to build a kegerator from scratch then you should be able to rank basically as soon as your page is indexed in google and it's as simple as that so it, it's really down to the numbers and you don't have to guess if say the keyword competitiveness number is out of sync or if there's some other factor there that doesn't quite make sense maybe a particular niche is dominated by e-commerce sites and you're not sure if you could rank. Well, if the number for the keyword golden ratio comes out to be something low, like under 0.25, then you're almost certainly going to rank 